Welcome back to another video on Mewing Channel. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you another way to measure the quality of an individual's lip seal. So in my last video on a lip seal, which I will link in the description box down below, I explained how uh, you could use an exercise slowly counting from one to six to see how good your lip seal is. So I've pulled up a profile picture here so I can show you how to measure the, uh, how the lip seal has affected the development of your face. So how to know if someone has a good quality lip seal just from looking at them, not even seeing them talk or do anything with their mouth? How would you know if they have a good lip seal? So here I've got a profile picture up on my computer. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna zoom in here. So now the trick is this. If the lips are two thirds of the way up from the bottom of the chin, that means they have a good lip seal. If the uh, lips are a bit higher, are higher or lower than that by like a significant amount, then you can be pretty sure that they do not in general have a very good lip seal. So how, how can one uh, measure this? So first things first, get a profile picture of yourself, a nice profile picture just like the one I did here, literally just profile view. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take uh, two sticky notes. The first one, you're going to fold it into thirds. And you can see I drew the lines on here too so you can see the uh, folds better. And then you're going to take the other sticky note and you're going to fold it into fourths and draw the lines on there too. So I'm going to show you how this works here. Um, do, do, do. So I zoom in and so we want to go from the bottom of the chin here. So the very point of the chin known as the mentin and this point right beneath the nose that is the subnasally. So what you're going to do is you're going to zoom in just enough so that way the sticky note fits between those two points. So right here I've made a nice line between uh, the bottom of the chin here and the subnasally. And as you can see this line right here that marks two thirds of the way up lines up nicely with my lips which indicates that I have developed a good lip seal over time. Now also if you want to, yeah you're going to want to grab uh, the other sheet with the fourths even if you see that the two-thirds lip seal is pretty good. Darn. <laughs> even if you see that the two-thirds lip seal is pretty good you still want to look at it this way as well because it's one of, because then you can find out if your lip seal uh, goes a little more towards like three quarters of the way up or only, you know, half of the way up. Uh, so, yeah, that's what I got today and have fun with that. 